Good afternoon and how's it going you guys? Actually, before I start, I need to check my bag for work tomorrow. Alright, let's see. Good afternoon and how's it going you guys? Today is the weekend. Well, the second half of it anyway. Nonetheless, I had big plans to shoot a video yesterday, but unfortunately this week's weather deemed otherwise. So what better way to spend time at home than to make a video as per some requests, showcasing my apartment here in Japan. So let's hail it on and check it out. things first. Out here I have a real nice view of some rice fields and things. Mostly farmland. Unfortunately during the summertime this farmland here means that there's spiders and gross insect buggy things that crawl around so I always have to make sure everything's locked up tight. But anyways, let's walk in here. So first thing you notice is the front entrance here and here is the calendar for trash and all these different colors mean different days for different trash pretty complicated stuff but it's Japan so it's pretty normal here I have this is actually my hanko which actually comes in this blue little case here and in the blue case I don't know what this I open this. Obviously, I don't use this a lot. What the heck am I doing? Ah, there it is. So, inside the case, there's the Hanko here, which is this black little tube thing. And then it comes with some ink here. It's just like red ink. Basically, just stamp it and you use it for just uh, any packages, any signature type stuff. And it's really hard to see here. I don't think you can see it. Well, it's really hard to see on here that it has my first name in kanji. Well, my first name, meaning the, the pronunciation of my first name in kanji, which is kind of nice to have. Uh, I forget what the meaning is, but something about being strong, I don't know. But anyways, this is all just the front Fourier stuff, standard things. All my shoes here, which, by the way, got some new shoes. Those are wonderful when it comes to walking around Japan. I also have a closet here. This has uh, just some standard stuff. Water bottles, things, anything that you need. Then walking through the front entrance here, there's the washing machine here. It's a small one. I would open it. But all my laundry, well, you know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. This is, well, I still need to hang up my laundry, which I'll do later. A small washing machine, real compact, real nice. Uh, laundry detergent, some stuff up here, like a mop here. And then coming up this side is the shower room. It's a pretty sizable shower room. What's nice about Japan for shower rooms is that the shower, sink, and bathtub are all in the same room. So it's really easy to take a shower and then take a bath. Or, or do both, I guess. I'm not sure. Anyways, but regardless, it makes it really, really, really easy to be able to brush my teeth here. Right? Use the mirror, shave, do whatever I need to, all in one place. And here, well first off, this controls the light, right? Light switch here. So this is a control panel that has different air ventilation features. 
So the white one is ventilation air for when you take a shower. This red one here is for drying your clothes. There are no dryers and usually people hang out their clothes, but sometimes it gets rainy. So this is really nice to have. This one here is just cool air, which I assume is just to cool you down after a hot shower or something. But anyways, and then this is the timer here. It shows how many hours it would go on for. This being half an hour to five hours here. But regardless, moving on. Next is the kitchen. Well, it's a kitchenette here. All right, so real small sink. And I have my soaps and things up on this side and a tiny little stove right here. Oh, and then all spices and things. Pretty, pretty standard stove. I don't think it's that difficult. This is the power. Uh, and then you can control the front back and the front as well as the light, as well as the fan that's right up here. But real small space here. Of course, the utensils. This is where I keep all my chopsticks, forks, cooking chopsticks, and then all of this goodness here, bowls and plates, all of this. Oh, and I got these, these things for like Christmas and Halloween somebody gave for uh, from our school. Uh, looking at the bottom here, just a standard cabinet, nothing crazy, cleaning supplies, blah, 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 blah all of that and then our knives here on this side nothing crazy and then on this side is the bathroom which is a small bathroom bidet beautiful always always very very helpful this is just a toilet here but actually looking back here uh, there's like a little thing on top here what they do is water comes out and you can kind of rinse your hand or wash your hands. And sometimes people will have soap in here, but I usually just use the kitchen sink to wash my hands. Anyways, so coming here, I have my fridge. Small, tiny little fridge, speaking of which, well, actually it's all gone, so I need to throw away this box, but look at that. It's a little cute little ice cream thing there. And small freezer. Small fridge, always have a big water bottle that I like to use. And then of course, standard rice cooker, hot water for ramen, microwave, toaster oven, and then all of the extra ingredients up here. Now here, this is the, well, this is the living room space, I guess. Living room plus my bedroom back here. This is a TV that I don't use. I don't watch TV in Japan, probably because I have my laptop already. But of course I have my toothbrush. This is a steamer, portable steamer. Real nice to have when I don't take my clothes to dry cleaning. And then actually this here controls the light. You can turn it up, a little down. You can turn it really down depending on what you want. But yeah, this is really nice to have. And here is the telecom. So when people knock on the door, they push a button outside and then the screen will show who they are and I can push this to talk to people. So real small here, of course, full body mirror. Yay. This is really helpful for when I have to get dressed in the morning. Speaking of which, my belts and stuff all up and down here. It doesn't come with the apartment, but this was already installed when I got here, which is very helpful. You can use these little hooks like this. And actually this corner here is my bag corner. So I use hooks to just hook everything up. And then coming down here, this is a table that's installed into the wall. And this table can actually pull out and become like a dining room table, which is kind of nice. But I like to keep it down like this because it takes up less space. Moving on to here, this is a drying, eh? laundry, drying bar thing. Most of these apartments actually have bars outside, but mine does not because I'm on the end. So they put one inside. 
and then looking past that coming out here. Oh, once I unlock that, we have the balcony. Nice view right outside here. Like I said, today's kind of rainy weather. But anyways, coming back in, we have two curtains, one on this side and one on the other side there. And they both have double, so I can use this one to kind of block the sunlight, but still be able to see if it's sunny or not. Kind of keeps it a little bit warmer. Speaking of warmth, this is the aircon. So in Japan, actually, most well, older apartments don't have central heating. You have to use kotatsu, usually, or heated floors, or a small heater um, for yourself. This one does, fortunately. I think this is more of a Western style apartment, Leo Palace, and everything comes fully furnished, which is really nice. But anyways, this is my setup. Two screens, of course, well, my laptop, microphone over there. It's where I make the videos and where I game if I don't want to make any videos. I bought this a while ago, but I was too lazy to put it up, but I actually put it up today for the video, so um, the stuff I do for you guys, right? Anyways, coming up to the side of the desk here, there's some holders and things, and this is a eating table that I bought off of Amazon. I bought this because there really is no eating space that's convenient, even with this table here, or even with that table over there. And finally coming, well not finally, but next, coming up to this side, of course these are all shelves and things, excuse the mess, it's very messy. And this is a ladder that leads up to the loft for my bed. And so actually, this loft is actually a bit small. So I'm right now I'm slouched. But if I, if I just extend myself a little bit, I hit my head. So actually often in the mornings, I'll actually hit my head because I forget how tall I am compared to this. Oh yeah, kind of hurts in the morning. But anyways, coming back down to this ladder, this ladder actually pushes in and out, which is really nice if I need more space for something, which I usually don't, but. Underneath the bed here is a closet space. It has all my, my shirts, jackets, all of this blah, blah, blah stuff in here. But regardless, that's pretty much it. It's, if I had to put it into a few words, Japan apartments are enough to live. So there really isn't too much going on, but everything is pretty convenient, pretty, it seems logical, kind of like, why is it, why aren't we doing this in America? Why is everything so expensive? But anyways, that's pretty much it for this apartment tour. Um, I have no other real plans today. Oh, I gotta do my laundry. Actually, I do have plans. <laughs> I have to do my laundry. And then I'm probably going to just stay in all day because it's raining. So anyways, thank you for coming along and checking out my apartment and wait for more videos to come. So see you all soon. Bye.